means now the fire is not there. <laughs> and and, and burnt burn oh means God. the fire has <laughs> no, it's true. The fire has The fire has I want to welcome you guys to the learning curve. We meet usually once a month to chat. I have to say, when it's on my calendar, I get super excited because I get to hang out with these amazing ladies. And we get to brainstorm, vent, do therapy sessions about the world of dentistry. So I want to go ahead and um, introduce you guys to Lynn, Teresa, and Beverly, the powerhouse team that we collaborate on. And I kind of wanted to start talking to Lynn because I know we kind of talk about this a lot because it's been a pretty hot topic about burnout with everything that's going on. Obviously, we, staffing and all that is a big issue, but I see this happening a lot where I'll get, even I have a dear friend as a dentist that says, you know, I don't know if I can do this longer. And she's like in her early 40s, oh, that's tough. you know, and I, I, you know, it's like, as you said, like, is it stress? Is it burnout? What is it? But I feel like really I'm seeing more of that happening. And, and I wanted to kind of see from your lens, like, what are you seeing in the world of dentistry? Because I know you, you, you know, collaborate about this a lot. You know, unfortunately, your scenario is not unique. I, I say that a lot of times too. And it's really a shame because they had a joy of dentistry. So one of the things I do with clients when they voice that concern to me is, you know, let's talk about, let me talk to me about when you were in dental school. What was it about dental school that really excited you? Because I think a lot of times they lose the excitement because they're business owners. And if we can separate the two of, let me get you back excited about dentistry, then we can work you know, all of us can work with our clients on the business side of their practice. So I think it's one of the things to get them to put into their words what excited them. Because yeah. we know if you're going through all of that school, you were excited about something to right. be able to go through all of Except that. Except the bill. Except the bill, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Student debt is real. Except the bill. But, <laughs> they but, are stressed out and burnt out from the bill. Yeah. <laughs> and and it's going to dental school. But see, that's part True. of it too. Because, well, I mean, we're going to keep True. it real, like we always yeah. talk about. I mean, you've got to take into account this is their expenses. So, yeah. you know, nothing's yeah. worse than I think going through something like that and going through school and having that debt and then realizing either I don't like this or this isn't what I thought it would be. Uh, so, but separating, starting off by separating the two on bringing the joy back to dentistry, but then also finding out and asking, you know, is it because you run a business? And 99% is going to be, yeah, I don't, I, no one prepared me for that. Yeah. I didn't realize it was going to be like this. I mean, we feel it ourselves Absolutely. as business owners, let's oh, be yeah. honest. Yeah. It's yeah. not easy. No, every day is yeah. not a picnic, no. you know? No. And so, and I think that's one of the reasons why we like getting together too for encouragement, because sometimes it sucks. Let's call it a therapy session. Exactly. It's a therapy <laughs> that's session. That's why you call it a therapy because session. Because we, we get inundated with what all of our clients are telling us. Yeah, then it's right, like, yeah. okay, I need to talk to like-minded individuals to be able to share the load, if you will, and say, okay, yeah. how, how better can we do that? But I think burnout is, is happening because of staffing, you know, not being able to hire. Then they get really upset if, well, what am I going to do if? And then it goes back to dentistry the way we've always done it, yeah. where we are creative problem solvers. And a company like Curve can give us a lot of different opportunities where there are less team members that can do more things taking advantage of technology. So I think when we Which can- brings on the overdead. Yeah. Exactly. I will tell you, yeah, if, if money is a stressor anywhere, yes. it's, one of, it's one thing that I love about it is I always say like, it's, it's such a money saving software, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Like you don't have to buy this add on for this and you don't have exactly. to buy this add on for this. And you, you, you know, and with everywhere else, it's like, oh, I, I see it in my social media groups all the time. It's like, oh, I have Modento for this or this, or, you know, I have all, whatever. That's just one company right, name right. that I'm using, but yeah. I have this for this, or I have this for that. And, and I'm like, okay, you're paying this here, this here, this here. You can combine all of that into one much smaller thing and your overhead comes down, you know? So you see all of these groups and they're great. Some of them have great products. But what I'm seeing more and more is a lot of these software companies and cloud-based companies are also merging with some of those products yeah. together yeah. to offer, have a bigger offering. So you still get the great technology of it under a lower overhead. And, and on top of that, they actually work together. They play nice in the sandbox correct, together. Yeah, correct. They integrate, which, which is, is a right. huge. And then also like, you know, how many times have you guys talked to clients or you know, to dentists and they say, well, I don't know what I have. I have a bunch of stuff I'm paying over a thousand dollars. Yes. And I don't know, and I don't know the logs and passports because right. to be fair, it's like they go to a meeting, they sign up for this, they sign up for that. And sometimes the same thing is doing the same work. Yeah. They're doing a double 
because only it's like almost a lot of times it's almost like panic mode. Yeah. I'm going to sign up for this so that I'm not so stressed or my mm -hmm. team is not so stressed. But it's like if you can get everything on one platform, it's a game changer. Well, during the lockdown, that's what the majority of my calls yes. were. were um, I'm paying for a lot. Is there one simple way? I'm burnt know? out over figuring out all my passwords to yes. all of those things. Can you coach me on that? <laughs> That's I've, burned, I've got lot. password burnout. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. The business side of it, though, I mean, the reason I think why they burn out, obviously they don't get training on it, as much training. I know some dental schools are trying to improve yes. on that, but there's a long ways to go. A lot of them, I think, are of the mindset that we'll teach them that afterwards. Yeah. What? That's no, a shame. That that's doesn't, a shame. But it I shouldn't think, be that I way. I think they, they're like, well, that's part of the continuing ed curriculum after you graduate. You come back as, as yeah. alumni and we teach you this stuff. And that's really unfortunate. So, I mean, some of the schools that I've been lucky enough to guest lecture at, it is really like one hour during their third or fourth year in the middle of exams or practicals. And it's like, their why, why am not, I here? Yeah, <laughs> it's not there. enough. It's I mean, so it's, true. I've done a couple nice. with schools. And I also, yeah. I've yeah. done like yeah. probably about five or six sessions. And number one thing they've said, and I did a lot during COVID, which I think the schools did an amazing job of maximizing this. So I did it through yeah. Zoom and they got to see me on a big TV. And I got a lot of emails after saying, thank you. Like, this is stuff that we had no idea. I feel like yes. I'm now no what kind of practice to look for, right. mm -hmm. you know, like how to run a report and see what my production collection looks like. Because to be fair, they're so stressed about making it through clinically. Yeah. How many crown preps do they have to get done before they, or their model pour ups and all of that, that yeah. they forget the part that when they get to the real world and they have all that debt. I yep. mean, let's just be honest. Like, yeah. it's, yep. it's really sad. And yeah. it's like, okay, now they, didn't, they don't have those tools they need and they just go to an interview. They're like, oh, they're going to take me. Well, all the tools were all there in dental school, and now when you get out, you're like, well, I need this because I'm used to it from dental school. And then it's like, no, it's $3.99 a month. And yeah. then so yeah, that all true. adds up. Yeah. But I think, um, I mean, and I don't have hard numbers on this, but I think we all know that it's true. The, the running a business, the business of it, is a lot of the reasons why DSOs have come up and become so popular because doctors were like, wait, somebody else will do this for me? This is amazing. Yeah. And so we have seen group practices and DSOs kind of expand from that. So what have what would that have looked like if they were taught business skills in the beginning? Would that I mean I think there's they still would have been along, but I don't know if it would have been as huge of a jump as right. we saw right. in our industry. Right. I definitely think for us, like Carl obviously Carl has an MBA, you know, so he he has the business acumen in the background mm -hmm. and it's probably one of the reasons that we haven't merged or haven't done you know what I mean, because we have that solid business foundation and we sure. really run the practice from a business foundation. But even then, I think, you know, it's it's tough. I mean, there it's it's so hard to run a business, period. You yeah. know what I mean? Any anywhere these days, finding team members, you know, patients all over the place. You're dealing with all these different personalities. And so it's I mean, it's no wonder people are It's overwhelming. Yeah. 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 It is really overwhelming. So we talked about burning of burnout of the burning of the manager. That's what I was gonna say. The burnout <laughs> of the 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 dentist, but Managers. I don't know why they call it burnout. You know, honestly, I really don't. The reason I ask that is because you're really not, like, burnout means now the fire is not there. <laughs> right. And, and right. Bur burnout oh means God. the fire has No, it's the true. She goes. The fire has stuck up. Stuck up. <laughs> you are literally on fire when you are burnout. When you think about it, but that's true, because that's the reason why, if you've gotten to the stage of burnout, you've already passed the, the stress, because yeah. when you're over You're not on fire oh anymore. God, I'm burnout. I'm calm now. It's no, checked out. No, you're no, not. No, 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 your I'm ashes. No longer on fire. <laughs> the, the your ashes. You're smoldering. I'm cremated. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. She's She's getting getting made of it. I love her. The, the difference <laughs> is when you reach that is because you don't care because there's nothing in the tank to give. So you were literally you're shut down out because shut you down. are shut down because when you're stressed, you're like, oh, I can just suck it up. I can, I can get it done. And that's different. That's why yeah. I like to draw that distinction between stress, over stress, and burnout. Because when you get to burnout, you, you literally don't care because there's nothing to care about. So there's a huge difference. And I think we use those ter terms interchangeably, which, you know, because we you really should cremated. It's like you're dead. Well, <laughs> to your point, you moved on <laughs> to another plane. You crossed over to a new life. <laughs> to another practice. You, you passed the rainbow. You, you passed the rainbow. You are now in practice heaven I, I <laughs> and think, somewhere else. I think something that happens, too, is we've talked about the dentist being um, burned out or overstressed, but the team members, that's happening yeah, as well. Oh, because, yeah, big time. Yeah. Yeah. Big you, time. You get to the point of not finding more people to hire and, and their stress, the people that that stuck it out, right? That stayed with yeah. their doctors. 
which is another reason for having the technology to be able to do more 100%. with less. We talked about outsourcing, we talked about all of these other opportunities. So I think that that's something, the mental health of all team members and doctors are extremely important. And also, yeah. and also it, um, I feel like it trickles around. So if one is stressed or burnt out, it is like, okay, my doc is not him, him or herself. Yes. Yep. So then the manager, because I've seen it, the manager's on the edge. He or she's kind of like, well, if he doesn't care, why should I care? Or I've tried yeah. to care and oh. he's shut down. Yeah. So then it just domino effects. So I think it's yeah. so crucial to make sure that, you know, whatever, and then sometimes they say, well, yes, if I change this, like say I change the software, we're just so stressed out and I can't change the software. But I'm like, but that's the problem right now. Right. If you trust me and yeah. shut down for a couple of days and just make that change, right, right. the results are gonna be good in yeah. the end. Just yeah. give it yeah. some time. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they get to a point where they're like, I can't even think of another change. Be because they're they're past yeah. that point, yeah. which is which is why I coach on it, yeah. because it's just so needed. So yeah. I hear from doctors that are burned burned out, almost burned out. But they that can't fire. But they can't really go anywhere. Like yeah. right, because it's they're their, stuck. They're stuck. So, stuck. But a manager, yeah. so this is what I heard most of the time was, you know, she was really good for so long. I don't know what's happened. Yeah, what's yeah, going yeah. on? She used to be yeah. like on top of this and now like I'm finding mistakes and well what's her general attitude? I don't know, she's here all the time. Well that's habit. But right. mentally she's not there. She's not, not there. Not there. Not she's there. checked mm -hmm. out. And so I notice I think I notice it with myself. I mean, obviously being still in the practice managing, I notice it with myself. I literally will get to a point where I'm like, I can't take in anything else today. Yeah. Like I can't take in any more You're today. Capped. I'm capped, mm -hmm. I'm done. Yep. I'll table it till tomorrow. And then tomorrow turns into the next day, turns into the next day, turns into the next but day. But you like, can only hold now, so much. Then, then, you, then the guilt sets in because you're like, oh gosh, I was supposed to email them my headshot or something last week <laughs> and I didn't. Sorry. And you know, something else in dentistry is we're all, there's an aspect of us it, that we're people pleasers. Yeah. But we're also patient focused. So we will put ourselves in a disadvantage in order yeah. to take care of our patients. And so that's something we, we need to include that within the discussion too. Yeah. That's real. Yeah. Taking care of ourselves. Well, yeah. but I've always said too that. And know, I like taking care of myself. <laughs> you, you're bougie Who are you self. telling? <laughs> What I, what I was, bougie friend. What I'm thinking about is the the doctors who um, are kind of checked out. They're not. They're they're just playing along. And then you have the manager who just cares so much, mm. right? And so what I say in some of yeah. there's a class that I teach on just managerial kind of high level. And what I say to them in the class is, you cannot care more about the yeah. practice than the practice owner does. Yeah. And I say yeah. it like twice so that they hit it. And I have never taught that class and not had at least two people come up to me at the end crying. Not because I'm a terrible teacher, <laughs> but because it hit them where, the, and it was right, they were at the edge. It's and emotional. they just needed to hear it. And they were emotional. Mm -hmm. And then I get emotional and I'm like, ugh. But, but you notice this you know, more lately than ever before. Yes, I don't feel like I've yes. had these conversations. I don't know. It's just yeah. it's strange to me how, and I feel like the good ones, like you said, are gone or le left the industry yeah. because that, that margin, something just went wrong there. Right, right. Yeah. right. Yeah. Well, and, and you know, you start those things. What I say to doctors is when you have somebody who's checked out, you know, you're in real big trouble because this is still your license on the line. Yeah. You guys have yeah. heard that. Yeah. So like, yes. if, so this is where the, the lazy billing comes into yes. play. The ethical, the unethical billing that we have all seen and heard about yeah. on these social media groups. Um, yeah. They, it's easy way outs, it's loopholes, it's shortcuts. It and, is shortcut, you're right. And, and compliance too. And the, yeah, and they, yep. they're just like, eh, whatever, you know, yeah. because they've checked out and they don't care. Meanwhile, I do something I like that. I call those Teresa. I'm, plug your ears moment. Yeah, she does. I she did. Yes. I'm like, Teresa, plug your ears because you don't want to hear what this is being said right yeah, now. Yeah, because now I got to call it somebody and say. It illegal. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. She snorted. Yeah. Too. No, it's true, though, because, you know, we all have a duty to make sure that that stuff doesn't work. So sometimes a doctor will come up in class and say, hey, I've been doing this. And I'm like, please turn your badge over so I don't see your name. She because... says, hold on, let me take my earplug out. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> oh, let me I put do. it back in. Yeah, <laughs> I do. 
So, oh. and then we gently re-educate. Yeah, <laughs> gently, <laughs> as much as we can. Or they say it's been working though. Yeah. Why do I need to change that? Oh, all my friends do it. It's yeah. fine. They oh. tell me all the time they've been doing it until. Oh, and Doctor no X been is on the board and he's doing it. Yeah, right. I get that a lot. So <laughs> yeah, this is something you probably are familiar with, but but what I typically say because and not because you've been audited, but because you're an expert witness yeah. for. It. <laughs> Don't want to put that out there. Um, but basically, I say to everybody. Everybody has not been audited until they're audited. Right. So that's that is true. not like a yeah, badge yeah. of honor that we oh did, I've we, never we been did audited. We passed with flying colors, by the way. I'm not in jail, but, <laughs> but I could be in jail <laughs> for other things. <laughs> but Tristan doesn't know that, right? <laughs> um, so I do think it's important for us to to realize that if if our team members have checked out, that we we can't just ignore that and go oh no. she's having a moment or yeah. she's having a bad time, like. Seriously, the practice, there's serious implications to somebody who's not doing their job right. Yeah, yep. And, and you need to be observant to be able to see that. Yeah, You need to know that there's a problem first, and some are like, I don't know. How do you not know if you're running a company? So you can't oh, be burned out or cremated. <laughs> <laughs> Can't yeah. be on fire. That's all you say. On fire. Just stay on fire at all times. You can be a little bit on fire. You can be singed, but that's about it. You know, something that happens a lot that will help maybe some people that are watching this is um, frequent uh, sickness. Because if somebody yeah. is suffering from a lot of stress or burnout, you're gonna it's gonna manifest itself in yeah, physical symptoms. Sick, yeah. So, my stomach hurts. I have headaches. They're out all, all the time. I need to go to the doctor. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's not. I'm not. It's not the panacea. That's not 100 percent about what is happening. But it's it's a clue. There's yeah. signs. So, but they don't care about signs calling out anymore. Yeah. Like they, early, they don't care. early signs of burnout. Yeah. 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 Right. The fire alarm, <laughs> the fire alarm is on. Fire alarm. Because this when whole you're fire theme with her. <laughs> <Wow>. She's really <laughs> on it. <laughs> you're thinking about matches and all kinds. I know, of right? Too. Burn oh. it down. Let's go. Wow. It's gonna have like firemen around her at all times. Is that a bad thing? Yeah. <laughs>